welcome everybody to the I'm Fat Podcast. Uh, uh, snacks are uh, best saved for later. With Jay Zawoski. That man ate all our shrimp and two plastic lobsters. And Rick Camp. Out the mist came a beast more stomach than man. <laughs> Welcome in to another edition of the I'm Fat Podcast. Let's see if we remember how to do this. We're sponsored <laughs> by Charlie's Bacon Guy, Mazda of Orland Park, I Love Fries and Fredo's Culinary Kitchen. I am Rick Camp alongside fellow fat and the peeling wonder, Jay Zawoski. Gold member. Yeah, <laughs> you, really, you really are. Because like... I mean, I guess it's hey, that those them's the breaks when you go to Florida for a week and, you know, oh, uh, first of all, how many bath salts did you consume? All of them. And what is the ratio <laughs> of bath salts to faces eaten? <laughs> yeah, uh, I did not consume any bath salts, but for the first time in history, hmm. the open is correct. I ate all the damn shrimp. Okay. I had all the shrimp and I am raining. It's raining skin. Hallelujah. It's great. It's gross. I am absolutely disgusting. I am pulling like flakes of skin out of my hair. Fun. It's not great. Um, but yeah, thanks Where for Where I come us. from, we uh we call that dandruff. Yeah, it's not. It's just <laughs> I know. I got I had this is the second time in my life that this has happened where someone looked at me and goes, Ooh, you're sunburned. Uh this week it was the uh Wave Runner tour guide. Okay. <laughs> he turned around his jet ski and went, oof. <laughs> Whoops. Which is never good because he's with people on this in the sun all day. Yeah, but something seriously. was noteworthy about my sunburn, and the other was Pat Foley at a score golf outing. You're uh-huh. burning up, big fella. <laughs> yep. So that was it. That was that. And that's the day. The Pat Foley one is I had a hat on backwards, so I took the hat off and I had a half tan on my head. <laughs> like but at the, least you were cool. Right, like halfway <laughs> across my forehead. Now, was uh, this a fitted hat or like oh, a, yeah, a yeah, button? Yeah. No. Oh, okay, fitted. good. So yeah. it wasn't like there was a half circle. Yes, that it could have been <laughs> worse. Have been it was at least a flat. Like I had like a Lloyd Christmas uh, tan line. Anyway, okay. that's not why you called. Thanks for joining us. We always appreciate it. Make sure you're following us on all of our socials at I'm Fat Pod. That's Twitter. That's Facebook. That's TikTok. And that's Instagram. We are on T Public. Think there's a sale? If not, wait a couple days. There'll be another sale. Stock up on your I'm Fat Pod merch. I just got my 0.0 marathon shirt and forgot to wear it for the podcast because I'm an ass. But I got I got a bunch of new stuff from T Public that I will show you next week. What else, Rick? Patreon.com mm-hmm. slash I'm Fat Pod. Yep. And make sure you check out all of our sponsors. When you check out our sponsors, that's very helpful for us. Um, yep. there's a ton to talk about, and it's basically all my vacation. Yeah, in, in the <laughs> basketball world, we call this letting someone cook. So yes. I feel like today is pretty much let Jay cook. Mind you, I've got, I finally, because, you know, it's been, it feels like forever since we've done an episode. It, do, it really does. Really, and we really just took the one week off. But uh, I have I tried the Wendy's hot honey chicken sandwich. Okay. So that'll be, that'll be my contribute when you need to take a breath. Yeah, you can break up my, my yammering. Because um, I got stuff that I'm not even going to get to this week. That's evergreen. That's what we call it in the business, evergreen. You can okay. get to it anytime. So, all right. Do you want to start with funny names of barbecue places I saw driving from Homewood to Marco Island, Florida? I could just go through the list of things I ate in Florida. Okay. Um, I, th- I, I don't think know. Where do you want to start? I think we need to start. At least the first thing needs to be chronological because this was the first thing I thought of for you. Leaving Homewood. Yeah. What were... The road trip snacks. Okay. So good question. Um, For the first road trip in history, I did not get combos. What? I know. That's almost always my go-to. Almost always my go-to. So this trip, we were gummy crazy. We got every gummy we could find. And then Addy got, I don't know if you've seen the M&Ms that are album covers. This is oh, like a new I, I've thing. heard of them, but I haven't seen them in person. So one of them is is Casey Musgraves' Golden Hour album, and that is Addie's absolute favorite artist. So oh, uh, did anytime... you have to steal it from Shane Reardon? <laughs> really? I know that Shane <laughs> and an eleven year old girl have the same taste in music. I love Casey Musgraves too, but Shane's yeah. a little creepy about it. Like I'll take a bullet for her and like drink her bath water. Like just stop, man. You're saying this stuff in public. <laughs> you're right. weird. That's why you're single. Um. But anyway, so all the peanut butter M&Ms that came in the Casey Musgraves bag, of course, 
but I also was on the worldwide hunt because I had them. And I brought them for us last week to have a taste test, and I forgot. The LeBron James Flamin' Hot Sour Cream and... No, Flamin' Hot Sour Cream and Cheddar Ruffles. Mm -hmm. Dude, oh my God. They are absolutely phenomenal. I will say this, the best thing LeBron James has ever done. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it is the most impressive achievement of LeBron James's illustrious career. Okay. Is the creation of the sour cream and cheddar flame and hot ruffles. They are amazing, but they're not like readily available. Is it the Jason Tatum flame and hot barbecue? Yeah. Is that who that is? That's yeah. everywhere. Those are mm-hmm. real easy to find. So when I was not able to find the LeBron chips, I got the uh, flame and hot cool ranch, okay. which upon further review, the ranch does come through. I had mm-hmm. it like side by side with a normal uh, Dorito. And those are excellent, too. But not great for a road trip, though, because they do get hot when you yeah. eat a ton of them. Yeah. But that was basically it. So we got the Harry Bow watermelon slices, which are great. Um, when we could find uh, Albany's gummies, we would buy them. And then the Casey Musgraves M&Ms. And, but we were stopping at a bunch of places, too. And I we tried a place that I've seen and heard about forever, Zaxby's. Yeah. Really good. We went to, okay. We went on the way there and on the way home. And um, very similar to Raising Cane's, but they have what they call in the old country options. Oh, yes. Funny you, how that works. <laughs> you can get a chicken sandwich. Mm. You can get tenders. You can get boneless wings. You get bone in wings. They got a bunch of sauce varietals. So big thumbs up for Zaxby's as far as chains go. I just got the tenders. Oh, no. The first time I got you can do like a combo mm. of like I think it's three tenders and five boneless wings. Oh, you mean it's not the tenders and the wings in a single roll? That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I could just bring my own Different tortilla. type of combo. Yeah. Um, but big big thumbs up to Zaxby's. Uh, really enjoyed that place. So, yeah, we went twice. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty much it for the road trip food. Like, I was really focused, man. Like, I drove almost the entire trip down, save for three hours from, what was it, Chattanooga to Atlanta? Yeah, that's the that's like the span Hope drove. Okay. And then, so we're going through Atlanta and it's dinner time. So I text Patrick Manley, mm-hmm. my favorite Atlanta native. And I go, where should we eat? He's like, there's this place called the varsity. And I looked to my left and it's right there. Like literally oh, wow. it's like, a, it's like a materialized yeah. out of nowhere. And it's right on like the Georgia tech campus, which is right downtown Atlanta. Hmm. So, ow. So <laughs> it's elbowed by there's table. a desk there. <laughs> yes, there is. Thank you. So quickly exit off go to the varsity and he's like, you need to know the lingo before you go in. So he sends me this sheet with like all the lingo on it. It's basically a burgers and hot dogs place. Okay. But we go in, there's three lines, probably about 40 people deep. Oh, wow. It was crazy. It it was, uh, it was, what day did we leave? We left Saturday. So it was Saturday night on a Georgia tech campus. Mm -hmm. Uh, Saw first a black guy in a MAGA hat. That was, oh. a, that was a new one for me. Oh, uh, I he didn't was know Kanye line. was there. <laughs> okay, fine. Second time. Second time <laughs> I've seen a black guy in a, in a manga hat. But, you know, basic burgers and dogs. But, like, they specialize in chili dogs and, like, that sort of stuff. Okay. Solid. Probably not worth the 35 minutes we waited in line for it, but Jesus. whatever. It was an experience. It was a different place. So yeah. it was just nice to try. Uh, by the way. Um, it's like this at home too now, but like mm-hmm. COVID is just not a thing in the South. Oh yeah. <laughs> like there's just, I did not see a single mask, but I will say like when we did opt to wear masks some places, mm-hmm. no one like said anything or gave us a dirty look or anything. So okay. it was fine. To be um, fair, COVID was never a thing in the South. Yeah, I know. I know. But, uh, <laughs> it was, I was pleasantly surprised by just like the way people treated us when we wore masks. There was no like harassment cool. or anything. So it was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so the varsity was really good. And then like the way down, we just basically did fast. We didn't try anything too crazy. Um, okay. And then when we were there, well, let me let me get to the barbecue places first. Yes. And <laughs> I was just like, okay, after I saw the first place, I'm like, all right, we need to start keeping track of these. First place we saw was in Sellersburg, Indiana. Okay, can I can I guess a template for some of these? Yes. Okay. The template is some form of a relative name. So like uh, a relation, like almost like essentially like I'm thinking similar to like, how, um, yeah, just like some form of a relative name, 
with the nickname of the person, not their actual name, and an odd description of the building that the place is actually in. It's not called okay. like it like it's it's like it's like Cousin Slim's shack <laughs> there or something were a lot like of that. Like that, but they were not noteworthy. But one okay. you're very close to. Okay, so the one in Sellersburg was Rubbin Butts. <laughs> Which can be barbecue, a strip club, or a tobacco shop. Right. <laughs> Either way, you got to pay extra. I, I got to go out of order because the last one is so yeah. good. Okay, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Hillbilly Willies, which okay. is which is on your track. Yeah. Uh, Vienna, Georgia. This mm-hmm. one is not so funny, but it's Smokey's Barbecue, but it's S M O A K I E S. So me and Hope are oh. calling it Smoakies because <laughs> we were just slap happy. Yeah. Tifton, Georgia has hog and mm-hmm. bones. Oh. H O G N bones, like Guns N' Roses, mm-hmm. hog and bones. But the winner in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Okay. D's butts. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the big question. <laughs> the big question. D E E Z B U T T Z No Z on the on the butts. Well then why have the D's? I know. Wait, let me it's confirm not this. Cool, let me confirm then. this. Maybe I just didn't notice. Yeah, it's it's a regular butts. B U T T S. They gotta be formal. You know, they don't, mm-hmm. they gotta show you know the people with D's butts take barbecue very seriously. Yeah. I was so tempted to just exit and get a shirt. Like you should have. You gotta have a shirt of D's butts. So yes. it's something and, to keep And by in mind. that I mean a shirt. For me. Yes. Well, it's something to keep in mind for next time I convince myself that driving to Florida is a good idea. Yeah. See, now, mind you, <laughs> it would require being in a car with me for that long, but I'm a, I'm a really solid uh, road trip person because I can, like, I've had to do the drive to and from Cleveland by myself in the same day. Oof. So I've done that with only minimal issue. Yeah. So. I mean, look, I typically like a road trip, mm-hmm. but this was... It's yeah, like, how freaking big is this country? What the hell? <laughs> like, there's just so much unnecessary space well, between, yeah, but... like, city to city. Like, couldn't we just, yes. like, cut this out and, like, paste and put things more together? Because mm-hmm. it's just, oh, my God, mile after mile of nothing. At least yeah. in the south, there's hills mm-hmm. and occasionally a mountain. So well, there's a... none of those things in southern uh, Illinois or no, Indiana. No, at least there's, like... Well, that's pretty. Like the way home, mm-hmm. we took seventy five, and then we did not go to Nashville. We went to Knoxville instead. Okay. Um. So we stayed on seventy five, and that was beautiful. I think Kentucky is one of the prettiest yeah. states that I've driven through because okay. it's like right before the mountains in Tennessee, so it's like rolling hills, and yeah. there's horses everywhere, and it's really pretty. So I like mm-hmm. driving through. That, that actually made it. Going through 65, like through Knoxville was pretty nice. That actually made it okay. seem a lot shorter. But the mm-hmm. rest of it, my God, when we came home Saturday, there was bad weather in Florida. So we left real early, went to yeah. Waffle, Waffle House. Well, that was Sunday. Sorry. So Saturday we leave and we're going to Ocala, Florida is like the next landmark for us. And a tornado had gone through like an hour before, or they think it was a tornado. Jeez. Like, you know, they, they weren't sure. Yeah. But probably uh, it ended up like flipping a semi on the highway. So we just sat on, on 75 for three hours. Oh, moving, like not moving at all. We maybe three went hours? in three hours. We maybe went a mile. Oh, so that will just make you lose your mind. So yeah. we finally get to Ocala and we're like, well, now it's noon, so let's get some lunch and some gas. So mm-hmm. we get off, get the Zaxby's for lunch, and right, we're and trying to get having to having to give away Addy to get the gas, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> so we get, and then to get back on the highway, like all the local stuff is shut down too because like trees were felled and like all this stuff. So yeah. it was just a nightmare. But after that, like once we cleared that, it was pretty smooth sailing. Um, from there on out, like the the other mm-hmm. two days. But my God. That's what happened to us last time we went to Florida. We had the same situation. I think it was just south of Atlanta. Okay. Like we our goal was to get to Chattanooga and we didn't even get out of Georgia. Hmm. It took us it took us more than a day of driving to get out of Georgia. Okay. Like, so my ugh. question is then why do you go on road trips and cause weather to happen? <sighs> I know. It's just like 
that one time purchase mm-hmm. of airfare for three yeah. people is such a hard pill to swallow. It is. But then you're like, well, I got gas probably six times each way. Yeah. But of course, like when we planned this, we didn't know gas prices were going to be for sure. Yeah. There's you know. no way to know that. Yeah. And I would say also when we got back home, mm-hmm. the gas prices here are insane. Yes. Like yes, the highest we paid in Florida was maybe like four twenty nine. Oh yeah. And we also got gas in Kentucky for three ninety nine. We were like, woo, three ninety nine. Yeah. Um, and I got home, I'm like, four it's like four sixty around here. Mm-hmm. Oh my yes, god. It is. So we sound like old people, but um anyway. We we I well I am an old person. So now we both have yes. to. Um all right, so where did I eat? <laughs> where did I eat yes. in in Florida? Okay. Um Stan's Idol Hour is a really cool place. You literally pull up and just walk to a picnic table. It's this giant outdoor oh. area. It almost looks like looks like festival grounds. It's just there's okay. always some crappy like Jimmy Buffett impersonator playing, not impersonator, but like mm-hmm. cover cover guy. Yeah, playing songs at lunch, just adding the atmosphere. Got some. Addie got her first virgin daiquiri, so she was really excited. Okay. And that's the first time she tried shrimp. She tried coconut shrimp and really liked it. Uh, and that, that's where I had my first shrimp of many, many mm. over the trip. So Stan's mm. Idle Hour on Marco Island. Great. Uh, the Snook Inn is very famous. Also on Marco or Naples. I think it's Marco. Um, the Grouper Sandwich. Fantastic. Okay. All these places I will Did you put go to on. the Snook E too or just the Snook Inn? No, she was not there. Oh, okay. She's in Jersey. Um, CJ's on the Bay was mm-hmm. great, except I had to eat it super fast because it took a long time. And that's when Addie and I had our Wave Runner. Uh, appointments. Oh, okay. It was like 45 minutes. For our food. Yeah. It was like 45 yeah. minutes for our food to come out. Jeez. And I'm like, Oh my God, I had to eat it as fast as I could. So we could make the wave runner thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other favorite thing I had, and I sent you pictures and stories from this place. Yes, you did. This is the new thing in Georgia. Bucky's B U C dash E E S. Now okay. hard to describe Bucky's. Imagine 7 <laughs> Eleven mm-hmm. meets a BP. No, sorry. 7 Eleven meets a Costco gas station. Okay. Meets Chuck E. Cheese. Mm-hmm. Meets Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay. Meets Yankee Candle. Okay. Meets uh, Cafeteria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if it exists in the world, Bucky's has it. So there's animatronic rodents that are that are trying to sell you candles well to Eddie's delight there was a mascot as soon as we walked in (laughs) she's like no i'm like just walk past it you're 11 Mm -hmm. get over it and she's like i want to so here's what they have food wise pulled brisket pulled Mm -hmm. pork uh chopped brisket chopped pork uh roasted nuts Mm -hmm. they have a beef jerky bar Oh, they have a full deli. Okay. They have a place to make deli sandwiches. Nice. Um, f- a fudge table. Like, go pick your variety of fudge. Interesting. They've got like pre bagged snacks. Like I call it crack. It's like the caramel coated uh, puff corn. Okay. Not what I think of for crack, but cool. You've had it. it everyone's yeah. got a different name for it. Yeah. Um, Like little boxes of cookies, anything you can imagine. It's mm-hmm. got it with a Bucky's logo. I bought a Bucky's hoodie because I just okay. loved it. And even got a Bucky's tank top. They also had Bucky's bathing suits. Mm-hmm. Um, if you wanted to buy any sort of like live, laugh, love style signs. Right. So some something for all the basic women. Yes. They've got all that stuff for you. If you want an intimidating Yeti, like come and take it with a machine gun on it. Mm-hmm. They've got that. Um, I mean, honestly, you name it. You could buy a Yeti cooler. You could buy... Mm-hmm pool toys you it was like you it was insane and there were a million people in there and i think mm-hmm. they have 120 gas pumps it was just the craziest place in the world so if you're going through georgia stop at a bucky's it's an experience and the brisket was, i sent rick a picture and, and michael will put it up on the yeah. youtube here legit mm-hmm. and hope got a hope and Eddie got like a breaded chicken sandwich that it had a ton of uh, mayo and uh pickle on it so i didn't have it but okay. looked terrific mm-hmm. uh the homemade fries Yes. Or I'm sorry, the homemade chips, mm-hmm. you know, like the cooked at home kettle chips or whatever they sure. are, had those. I mean, and we only got through half the store. 
Oh, like wow. there was a whole like other half that we didn't even. Okay, so like square footage wise, what's it close to? Like a target size, or I would say, hmm, like smaller a than a Walgreens. Uh, way bigger than a wall. I would say like four Walgreens. Okay. Like if you were to go like one, two, like if you were to make mm-hmm. a square out of four Walgreens, about that. Sure. Big. I would say okay. it's about that big. Yeah. Like not a Bass Pro or a Target size, not as big okay. as a Meyer, but bigger than a. I'm, I don't know. It's hard to. It's hard to come up mm. with a comparison, but it's. It is big. It is okay. big, like I pulled off the road. And I went, holy shit! <laughs> and Eddie <laughs> lost it. We're like, this is how big because we everywhere you go, there's like there's funny signs from Bucky's like ads for okay, it. like you want this beef and like they're just funny like play on words. Yeah. So we were like, okay, this place will be funny, and there's like Bucky's TikTok. Um, so you can find that. Um, mm-hmm. But did, did I cannot you stumble believe upon that while I'm thick talk or something. <laughs> I, it's I just looking at bathing suit trying on videos. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Right. She I, wants I advice know. on which I, bathing I suit to wear. I, I know all the guys appreciate that. Yeah. I'm just, the purple one. <laughs> Go with the purple one or that red one is fine, too. Right. Or the one I that's mean, basically a string. I was going to say, cool. if, gra- if gravity is going to gravity, then you know you know what the, we know what we call that? God's will. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, she's asking for advice on which bathing suit looks best. Right. Who are we, Rick? Mm-hmm. Who are we to deny her that? Right. And I want to be so thorough in helping her <laughs> that I'm, I still have to view the other two parts of that TikTok. So. I have a spreadsheet. No, you don't. Yeah. No, I do. It's like, let's see. Purple. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Okay. Buoyancy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, in- integrity of strap, you know, yeah. like those sort of things. I want to make an educated guess. Sure. When I give the TikTok person. And I think, Rick, honestly, mm-hmm. I think you would agree with this. It would be sexist to not. Right. Yeah. I, should we tell people I mean, if they want to help out, like where they could where they could find it? I mean, I don't see why not. All right, because it's on TikTok. If you at... want, if you want feedback, then like we always talk about, we've both worked with Bernstein. Sample size matters, so you need as many responses as possible. Okay, it's at C A L L L H E R L O. She needs help. Okay, help her out. Help her out with her bathing suits. These are big decisions. Summer's coming. Yes. All right. Right. It's not the only thing. All right. You know where I was today? I went to Mazda Borwin Park. And I test drove a CX-30, and I liked Ooh, it. Ooh, how'd that go for you? Nice. Very yeah. much likey. Likey very much. Can I buy a white car? No, it depends on the white. Like, I had one that I think it was called eggshell white, and it actually was palatable. I'm not a big white car person, but it was, like, palatable. But if it's, like, white, then no. <laughs> That's if official, it, you know what I mean? The official like, color of the car is white. Yeah, caps I think it's like, you know, like a pearl white or some junk like that. But if it's more of like a subtle white, I think you might be OK. Yeah, subtle white. Yes, uh, that was that was Cruso. not many of those around. Um, <laughs> it, I think it was called snowflake white, but it had because like, it had like a little bit of That's a very fitting, like a twinkle. Yeah, like a metallicness to it. I, I like okay. it. I would never okay. think I would like a white car, but I liked it. Mm-hmm. So. Drove it. I don't know if it's going to be that one I get, but it had like sure. this cool feature where it reflects your miles per hour like on the windshield. Oh, that's cool. So when you're driving, you have to take your eye off the road to see how fast you're sure. going, which means you don't have an excuse for the cops anymore. Right. Um, like, well, I can't look down. I don't want to get in an accident. Cruise control, by the way. Big, mm-hmm. big savior for the road trip. Yes. Um, also for the gas mileage. But yeah, so checking out the cars at Mazda Orland Park and love that CX-30. I think that's the direction I'm headed. You will too. Mazda of Orland Park dot com. 708-444-3200. Give Eric Bates a car. Uh, give him a car. He's got plenty. <laughs> give him a call. <laughs> 708-444-3200. They're located 8910 West 159th Street in Orland Park. Yeah, man, it's close. Like within yeah. the next three or four months. Mm-hmm. It's going to be CX 30 time for me. And I'm excited. Nice. The CX 50 is coming out, but I mm-hmm. like I settled into this 30 and I was like, let's go. This feels like Jay's car. Yeah. And when you when, you know, for a fat to be able to feel comfortable in a car yeah. and like get that get that kind of feel to it, where almost like a chair where you start to sink into it a little bit. Yeah. And yep. yeah, that that you, you just know it had like a I felt like I was like kind of low down. OK, I didn't feel real elevated. I felt like kind of down in the, mm-hmm. but i never felt like i was underground it was just a really okay. nice comfortable feel and like all the uh controls are like right there in the dash with a little like mm-hmm. um it has a little knob where you can select 
and then press to take what you really cool. I loved it. So nice. that's where I'm headed and it will happen soon. So you should go to Mazda of Orland Park. Dot com. All right, you tried the Wendy's sandwich. I did. I was. You even gave me a couple like solid uh, transition points in there with the uh, with talking about the you know the pickles and stuff like that because that <laughs> is part of this. Yeah. And believe me, I wanted to make sure that I had a good once again sample. It's all about sample size here, right? So I made sure in the time you were gone and the time that <laughs> since we've had done the last <laughs> podcast, did your homework? I had this sandwich four times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't gone that long <laughs> long enough long enough All especially right. when there are when i go by two different wendy's locations so i went once a week to each one you got to make sure right yeah check for consistency exactly yeah i get it so and the fact that this is a permanent menu item yeah um jay yeah this is my favorite menu item at wendy's i have trouble arguing with you because it's phenomenal it's really really good yeah. i mean and i assume you got it with the spicy chicken too i know you can get it with whichever chicken you want yeah spicy for sure yeah because you, you have the spicy chicken which is a great base to start mm -hmm. you get the pepper jack you get the bacon you know that hot honey sauce on there is awesome and then man those pickle chips for that crunch, it makes it a little bit messy. So you got to be a little, you know, a little strategic with the wrapper when you're in the car. Mm -hmm. But especially if you get that new CX-30. Uh, but I will not be eating that car for at least two days. What about eating in the car? What did I say? Eating the car? I might. Right? It looked that good. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not going to judge publicly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was really really good like i th i don't want to bother with anything else from there anymore like honestly it, it's that good and then with their improved fries just getting the combo mm -hmm. works yeah you can absolutely get by with that now the only thing i wish i could do and this is unrelated to the sandwich large fry medium drink yeah you have to because, do one or the other right yeah because yeah. the large drink is ignorant <laughs> it's a trough yeah, it dude, it really is. Let me drink this Coke. As you're yeah, seriously, like, <laughs> right. Like, I kind of want to just put, like, take, like, a belt and, like, hook it to each side so that I can hook it, like, almost like an oat <laughs> thing for yeah, horses. Right, right. Like, that's how that's how big that damn thing is. But it it's so good. Guess what? Probably going to have it again this week. Good for you. And I have to say, I got it, too, and they, I ordered it without the pickles, but they left them on. Mm -hmm. So I, like, picked them off, and I wasn't, like... You left like a couple for yeah. some just a uh, just touch and go there. And my my complaint with pickles is that it is a uh, contaminant. Mm -hmm. Like once it touches something, it's ruined. But because these are like pickled chips, they're crispy, they're crunchy. It did not have that impact, and therefore I kind of liked it. Yeah. So next time I get one, I might try it with the pickle chips on there mm -hmm. and see how it goes. Because you're right, it was terrific. Uh, not great for the car. Just because yeah. of the stickiness the and, um, you know, the bun got real sticky. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure you are eating it at home or you have some uh, wet naps. They should yes. probably start supplying some wet naps at Wendy's for that because that they do not skimp on the honey. No, they and, don't. Oh, my God. It is so good, though. And Wendy's like their chicken game is strong, man. Yes. Like they like the spicy chicken on its own is mm -hmm. tremendous and it has yeah. not taken a step back in quality since the long because i even think like maybe a little bit popeyes a step back a little bit in quality since launch and hmm. i think the portillo's one has taken a slight step back in quality too okay. since it came out but with wendy's like that chicken has been consistently awesome for a long time yes so yeah i yeah i love it it's terrific so two thumbs up for me i know you loved it too mm -hmm. you've only had four so far but step it up a right. little bit i know but you know you have to you have to be fair to other places that you normally go i mean i can't i can't let them close right you know, covid even though even though people don't act like it in stores is still a thing <laughs> for these businesses so i need to make sure i hit as many of them as i can what's it been like at work with covid Are people like unmasked or how's it going yeah pretty 50 -50? much it, it's it's Oh, there's a decent amount that'll still wear them, but you know, it's not required unless it's like four people in a small space. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. So like when we do a pre-show meeting, 
uh, we, we're all masked up, but like just walk in the hallways, I would say maybe around half and half is probably fair. I remember the Monday back when the restrictions were lifted mm -hmm. in the morning, 80% of people still had masks on. Yeah. Like in the building. And then I went out for lunch and it was like nobody. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely tone it's definitely uh tracked down in terms of amount of people wearing it, just like moving around the building and yeah. stuff. By the way, I'm not judging. Like my whole thing all along has been do what the CDC says to do. Right. And if they say you're cool to take it off, cool. And when it's time to put it back on, cool. Like Yeah. I'm no judgment. Like I and, and there are still plenty of people like taking precautions of like if it's me and another person, now mind you, this could also just be the sociability aspect of it of like, oh, it's me and someone else walking to the elevator at the same time. They'll just make sure we take different elevators. Yeah. Or something Some like that. Do that. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. When I was in Florida, I did not wear a mask. Yeah. I was just like, whatever. I'm outside 90% of the time. I'm yeah. only spending my time with like close family. Um, It was fine. It was great. By the way, I didn't mention why it was there. Um, oh, yeah. Hope's grandma, Mary. We call her Cookie because her last name is Cook. Turned 100. And I think the average picture of a 100-year-old woman for most people is someone who's decrepit in a wheelchair, can't really make conscious thought, just sure. kind of <laughs> waiting it out to the finish line. Yeah. Cookie, uh, when I we arrived, won her shuffle, shuffleboard tournament at her wow. retirement home. She was, And this is a 55 and over. So she was beating people 11 years older than me. Handily at shuffleboard. She won the losers bracket of the beanbag tournament, but the mm -hmm. team she lost to, I think ultimately won the whole thing. So this is a hundred year old woman who is more like in her sixties or seventies. She is amazing. I've told this story before, but I know people don't listen to every episode. When the all American girls pro baseball league started during world war two, she tried out, she made it and did not play because her mother said, ladies don't ride buses. But that she's always been a tremendous athlete. And to this day, she remains that at 100 years old. That's crazy. She's an amazing lady. And uh, to be there for her 100th birthday, and she's walking around the whole night, didn't have to take a break, dancing, mm -hmm. talking to people. Like, it was just so fun. And we, got, and we went to bingo night, too. Nice. Dude, I love bingo. I'll, I'll play bingo all day. I know. Dude, I, I've gone to bingo a few <laughs> times. I won on... I won on my first night when oh, I really? went to bingo. Yeah. Cause there was like bingo out and I think it's like an Elburn or something like that. So yeah, I've, I've gone, I've, I don't judge people that go play bingo. Oh, it was so fun. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And I would do that all the time. Like for real, it was just, it was so fun and hope won uh, mm -hmm. one of the rounds, but it nice. is serious. When you play oh, in these retirement, Florida? oh my God. Well, yeah, people have got their good luck terms. They've got their lucky dabber. You mm -hmm. can't use their dabber. That's mine. Right. And, and then if you lose like consecutive games and you're switching the color of the dabber. Absolutely. And... I did that, but mm -hmm. they've got this like professional bingo table that like churns the balls out. And like, they've got a guy who calls it every week and they're, he's yeah. mic'd up and it's, they verify every, it was so fun. I love it. It's one of the things I look forward to most when we visit uh, grandma yeah. cookie in Florida. Cause I, I get into it. Like I'm, I had like two sheets and I'm like, all right, we're well, <laughs> trying to win. Mm -hmm. Cause I know she so badly I, wanted one of us to win. And we did hope one. So something that I just thought of in the way I described it, do you play bingo or do you like do bingo? I think you say you play bingo. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was like, I don't know. That sounds odd. Play bingo. I think that's correct. I'll ask me, I'll ask cookie and let you know. Clearly, I've been working with Dan too much where I'm worked. I'm worried about semantics. <laughs> You're taking the fun out of bingo. Yeah, seriously. You know what? You can't take this fun out of. quite a statement. Hmm. Fries. Facts. You can only add to the fun when you cover fries in gravy and or cheese curds and or nacho mm -hmm. cheese and or mm -hmm. rib meat and yes. or honey and mm -hmm. or powdered sugar and mm -hmm. or chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. All these things can be accomplished at I Love Fries. 54 South Villa Avenue in Villa Park. I love Fries HQ on Instagram. We can't do them justice verbally. I almost said orally. <laughs> verbally is the right term. Sorry. Uh, Ooh, yes. That was that was close. That <laughs> so, you almost got me for a spit take. Yeah. So go to I love Fries HQ on Instagram. Check out all the great stuff they've got there. Yes. I'm telling you, 
you think I'm going to have fries for lunch? Yes, you're going to have fries for lunch. And chances are you're not going to finish them Mm because the portions are enormous. Oh, my friends, Beaker and Teresa, I went to their wedding in October. My buddy Beaker. We've called him Beaker since college. Was Bunsen there? No. Okay. But he kind of looks like Beaker and (laughs) whatever. Either either way, there, there were a few things. So... I, I, so out of the blue, I get a text from uh, Beaker and Teresa, and he's actually still on my phone as Beaker. Uh, and he was on, on his invitation to my wedding, Beaker. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find it, but they, either way, they went there and they got like three full size things. Oh. Like, it, oh, yeah, for Left the two of them. Time. And we're, oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> I was like, listen. You're gonna like you're gonna have some leftovers. They're gonna be glorious leftovers, but they are going to be leftovers. So I was excited that they loved what they had. We'll put so the picture again, up from Beaker on uh, on the YouTube's. Make yes. sure you're subscribed to our channel. Uh, there we go. There you go. So okay, it looks like we definitely got a low taste. We got the uh, garlic butter fries with yep. some chicken, and there's something else too. And yeah, there's and cans of Gatorade which is of course always better. So yes, I will send this picture over. Please do. And uh, by the way, with March Madness, uh, can we say that? With sure. early spring insanity um, <laughs> happening right now, um, get those pizza box nachos for your party. Mm-hmm. That's going to be worth it. By the way, speaking of uh, March Madness, Monday, the 21st yes. of March, will be the March Fatness Selection Show. Very her, excited. Her, 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 her. Her, her. I had Greg record uh, round ball rock on the on the recorder for us, so <laughs> <laughs> we've got that ready to go. Feel free to borrow really it wish... for uh, <laughs> feel yeah, free to borrow I... it for Bernstein or Rahimi. Man, too. if I had if I had a tuba still, I would do the yes. CBS the CBS college basketball music on tuba. You could However, also you, you could do our open music live. Yeah, I could do the open <laughs> music live. That would be fun. Anyway, go visit I Love Fries, 54 South Villa Avenue in Villa Park. I Love Fries HQ on Instagram. All right, I saw something, Rick, that's going to upset you. Okay. And I'm sure everyone has sent this to you. The new show on Netflix, Is It Cake? Yes. <laughs> so many people have sent this to me. <laughs> yes. And it's like, I love that it's one of the things people think of me for is like that. That's like right up there with any I could do something great with my life. People will be sending me (laughs) everything being cake forever. They should. Yes. And I appreciate it. I have yet to have time to view this. Like my Netflix viewing, excuse me, got like really busy because out of the blue, because I've like watched like nothing from Netflix for a minute. Then I found I found some. It was basically like a true crimey type thing of like, hey, here's the things that broke open some of these like most famous serial killer cases. Then Drive to Survive season four dropped on Friday, the F1 series. So I just started that today. And this like, believe me, my lack of a life is a thing. However, (laughs) I still need extra time for this because, you know, sadly, I have a job that's all encompassing. I'm surprised you're going to watch that. The, is it cake thing? I thought you would. I thought you would decline protest? watching it out of protest. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I have to because so many people want my opinion on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really I'm really making the sacrifice for the people. I like Mikey Day from SNL. He's a good host. He'll do a good mm-hmm. job. That's Mikey Day, right? Wait, hold on. I literally haven't seen anything other than the thumbnail everybody has sent me. I think I'm mixing up my... It is Mikey Day. All right, good. Yes. Thank you. I I had a moment of doubt, but I shouldn't have. I was correct. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll watch it. I'm interested in it. It looks entertaining. And if it's going to piss you off, I'm in. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, a lot of people are in for that. So, yeah, I will probably... For however long that is, I will probably be triggered the entire time. Because, once again, everything is cake. This laptop that we're doing this podcast <laughs> on, the water within the bottle. I don't know how they do it, but the water is cake. The, the bottle which the water is in is cake. The CX30 is cake. Yeah, there's no doubt. Like, I don't know how they get the new tire smell on those tires mm-hmm. that are cake. However, they do it. Speaking of that, nail in mm-hmm. the tire on the way down. 
first day. Oh. By the way, these tires are less than a month old. First day I get oh, to Florida, I go to Walmart. Geez. I'm like, I got a nail on my tire. They're like, yeah, we can't fix it. You need a new tire. I'm like, son of a bitch. So that mm-hmm. sucked. And we saw the first ever going through Kentucky. Can you guess, Rick, what it was? The first ever? The Colonel. Um, <laughs> the first ever KFC. We drove by the first ever KFC and waved at nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Did you go see the Colonel? No, I just wanted to play the drop. The Colonel. But we really did see the place. But, but. What I say you, he did. He did. <laughs> there were a lot of people like what, that. Is is Mr. Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> we should play the whole thing sometime. Yeah, we should. All right, remind so me next good. week. We'll do that. Okay. I actually had a, so a place that we have both been together. Yes. I forget if we've taught uh, if we've spoken about this item on there. So I know you did like a Blackhawks watch party or some a thing in West Chicago at Hawthorne's. Yes. So my mom's best friend Jennifer is in town, and my mom and my brothers always bring up Hawthorne. So she's like, "All right, we got to go." So we go to Hawthorne's. I got the pepper jack brisket dip. Oh, oh, oh! That's a lot of good words right in a row there. <laughs> it really is. I, I'd it's like essentially it in three parts. <laughs> it's essentially take the thought process of of a French dip, but put brisket on it Ooh. and cover it with pepper jack cheese. Hell yes. Au jus on the side. I got the tot. <laughs> a, 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 a jus. <laughs> Completely unrelated. Sorry to Eddie Goldman and Tariq Cohen for getting oh, released boy. by the Bears. And uh, and I got tots instead of fries. Well, yeah, it's a power move right there. Um, it, it, dude, so good. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know if we'll be doing any more Hawks watch parties, but if we do, right, I will go and get at that. Le- at least not there. Not there. Maybe right. someplace very specific. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Is it time to ask the fats? I think it is. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been one week since my last confession. Okay, my son. What is your confession? I'm fat. Ask a Fat, as always, is brought to you by our buddy, Charlie the Bacon Guy. Here he is with the weekly bacon report. Thanks, Jay. This week we have maple pepper, rosemary pepper, garlic, uh, stout bacon, and jalapeno garlic. Bacon jams, we have the original, the bourbon, and the apple butter bacon jam. Merchandise, we have the t-shirts, hockey jerseys, stickers, and winter hats. Thank you, everybody, for your patience while the deli gets up and running, and I'm overworked. (laughs) because of it i am getting your orders completed and ready to go as soon as i can so thanks again for your patience have a great week have a safe saint patrick's day for the bacon report i'm charlie the bacon guy charlie struggling <laughs> r.i.p in peace charlie dude <laughs> yeah. like, charlie you know vader ca- yeah you know where he's calling from inside his congested head <laughs> Uh, All right, get yourself some bacon and help Charlie pull through. (laughs) (laughs) Charlie the Bacon Guy at gmail.com. Charlie the Bacon Guy on Instagram at CZ the Bacon Guy on Twitter. You heard the flavors. You heard everything available. Hit him up on any of those three outlets and he'll get it done for you. It's awesome. We love it. I have it all the time. It is my go-to bacon. Whatever the variety is, I love it. That jalapeno garlic is the I'm Fat Podcast creation. Mm -hmm. So try that. You're going to really, really like it for sure. $15 $15 flat rate for shipping. So if you order a pound, you order 50 pounds, it's going to cost you 15 bucks. So do that. Get a ton. Get a lot. Get great bacon. You're going to love it. I promise you, you're going to regret not getting more if you only get a pound or two. So go for right. it. If you get the right amount, then you will be burping like us during. Yeah, weeks. I don't know what's going on with me right now. I'm just more oldness cutting through. now is the, is that due to eating right before we did this or no. not having eaten enough so it's trying to like simulate yeah i think i've not eaten enough to be honest okay. um it's been a really busy i had like everything i had to take care of while i was gone i had to handle today and oh it was, that's lovely it was a lot it was I've quite a bit gone from like 7 a.m to 6 p.m just getting crap done anyway mm-hmm. um if you're in the Woodridge area, Western Burbs, Charlie can deliver to you. Otherwise, he's happy to meet you in the middle. As long as you live like in the greater Chicagoland area, he can make yes. it happen for you. So again, Charlie the Bacon Guy at gmail.com, Charlie the Bacon Guy on Instagram, or at CZ the Bacon Guy on Twitter. If you want to leave us a voicemail, please do 708 858 3314. Here's our first voicemail of the show. Hey guys, it's Dan from Nashville, longtime listener. Love what you guys do. 
um, I felt compelled to call. I went to a nearby Kroger. Uh, I miss my jewels, but we have Kroger down here. Went down in the cookie aisle and um, noticed a longtime favorite that I have neglected for years, EL Fudge Cookies. Um, I don't know if you guys have had these, but these have been like a, uh, have been a staple typically when I was growing up. These were around the house. So, um, anyway, haven't bought them in years, purchased them, and just had one right now. And I felt compelled to call you guys because I would want to hear your, uh, your take on this. Cookies in general, um, you know, at this, at the, uh, supermarket, I was looking at, you know, Chip Ahoy and all this other garbage, but I wanted to know your favorite uh, EL Fudge are the goat. In in terms of so mass good. produced cookies, mm-hmm. and they also have double stuffed EL Fudge. Yep. Find those. And I will give you pro the tip. Double stuffed ones are so good. Pro tip. I, I go double or nothing. Let them get stale. Adds a little bit mm. of softness to them and a little bit of, like, for lack of a better word, crunch to the, to the frosting. Stale EL fudge. Oh, so you take the texture from the cookie and add it to the to the cream. Yes, sir. It's amazing. Interesting. EL fudge are unbelievably yes. awesome and my favorite of the mass produced cookies. Okay. So not quite as popular, but uh man, it's hard to go wrong with Tim Tams. Yeah, you love those Tim Tams. I have not had a Tim I Tam do. forever. I'm gonna make it a point this week to get mm-hmm. some. Because I yeah. need to be able to speak to them with education. Yes. And right now I can't do that. So I will try right. some this week. And I'll yeah, get you to know what, fudge while I'm there. If you're watching on YouTube, you know what education I need? Mm. Turning on the damn light before it gets dark out because <laughs> I'm like I'm like two faced right now. You ass. I've got the light like just over there and I just, you know, I didn't. Do you want to go turn the light on? I can vamp for a while. Yeah, sure. Hold All right, on. Go for it. Rick Camp removing himself from the uh palatial studios. Oh, I thought we were gonna get some butt crack and we did not. You missed out on butt crack on the YouTube. Oh, I thought I was coming. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube, by the way, do so. YouTube.com slash I'm Fat Podcast. Uh, as we get more followers, we're allowed to do more cool stuff with that. And uh, we will. So once we get to 1,000, we'll start really turning out some really cool stuff. All right, you're back. Uh, did you hear the struggle my chair has anytime I move in it? I was thinking we were going to see your butt crack, but we didn't. No, thankfully. Yeah, I mean, little... that's no, nobody needs to see yeah. that. But yeah, my chair definitely was like, oh, God, he's getting up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah pretty much. Great. All right, next voicemail. Hey, Fat, this is Blake from Oak Park. Just had the uh, Wendy's Hot Honey Chicken. It's there very go. good. I would highly recommend it. Uh, great suggestion there. Saltiest fries ever. They were amazing. Way better than McDonald's. Uh, Wendy's really stepping their game up. Uh, wanted to ask a question, though, too. I uh, just did a little traveling out to Portland, Oregon. Had a layover in Seattle and had uh, one of the best airport deals of my life. It was... Uh, Beecher's cheese, Beecher's something, Beecher's cheese, and I don't know. Really good mac and cheese uh, out in Seattle. I want to see if uh, maybe this has been asked before already. I don't know. Uh, your favorite airport meal. Uh, now that I'm thinking of it, it's probably been asked. Uh, I think you guys said Publican, maybe? Uh, anyways, uh, doing a repeat, so yeah. sorry for the rambling. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, the time change hurt us all. Right. Um, favorite airport meal? There is a Shoko in O'Hare Airport that is equal to the Shoko you have. Not Shoko, um, Frontera. Oh, okay. there's a Frontera in the airport that is as good as the Frontera restaurant. So I haven't, that's hard to beat. I, yeah, I haven't flown very often, but when I, I'm incredibly lame, like if I eat, it's probably just going to be one of the fast food places. Yeah, just so your farts smell extra bad on a plane. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, now if it comes, if it if it's drinking, I've done plenty of drinking in the airport, just not necessarily the food quite as much. Yeah, no, I get that. It, it's it's uh, airport or airports are tough because you don't want to eat like too much. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck in a bad situation. No, but then you're on the plane and you're you're talking to the person next to you. I smell like beef. 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 (laughs) You don't want to be that guy on the plane. (laughs) But, you know, if you have McDonald's before you get on, you know. I smell like beef. (laughs) Find that kid on TikTok. Do yourself a favor. All right. 
Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. So it's time to ask the fats. Ask the yeah. fat about this <laughs> and that. It's time to chat with the fats. I smell like beef. <laughs> Go smell like beef in Fredo's Culinary Kitchen in Schaumburg, 628 South Roselle Road. Fredo's Pizza.com, Fredo's Bakery.com, <gasps> at Fredo's Pizza on Instagram. Uh, go get the I'm Fat Burger. That will absolutely. I smell like beef. <laughs> Thank and you for cheese. waiting until I was done drinking. Water. And barbecue sauce and all the great stuff that is on the I'm Fat Burger, the oh, I'm Fat Pizza, God. the I'm Fat uh, Grilled Cheese. It's phenomenal. And get yourself those mm-hmm. baseball bat size mozzarella sticks. Seriously. Everything there is phenomenal. And the Fredo's Temptation Bakery. You want to talk about good ass cookies? EL mm-hmm. Fudge are one thing, but you try those Fredo's Bakery cookies and you will have your life changed. Fredo's pizza.com Fredo's bakery.com go there do that it's awesome all right that's a tab I would click on speaking of Fredo's we have an mm-hmm. email here from Chris okay. he says hey fats I would like to, to encourage all the fans to make sure to watch at least one podcast on YouTube because you never know what you'll learn for instance for months I was thinking that Fredo's culinary kitchen was really Fredo's culinary mm. kitchen I thought that was all of the Godfather characters why did they choose to go with the lamest? <laughs> I mean, if Sonny or Vito's was too much of a slam dunk, they could have at least gone with Connie's or even Luca's. Luckily, the YouTube Freitos graphic set me straight. Keep up the good work. By the way, you guys should do a cookbook. Maybe take listener input. Imagining a Velveeta section. That's from Chris. Yeah. Yes, it is Freitos. F-R-A-T-O-S. I mm-hmm. should probably clarify that. I'm a dumb Also, it'd be impressive if I contributed to a cookbook considering I can't cook. Rick's Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> literally, like, the only thing that I do even mildly creative with food is with my mac and cheese, I'll put some oregano in there. Oh, see, you're fancy. Oh, yeah. I That's am it. bougie. You are bougie. Everyone says All right. that. All right, let's move on to I this one. I smell like We've lost Rick. All right, I'll do, I'll do this No, one. I got it. You got it? All right. I got it. From Fat Matt. Hey, Fats, what's the most embarrassing fat mishap to happen to you at the office? Oh, it's easy. Mine would, be, <laughs> mine would be that when I get to work and sit down, I usually unbuckle my belt <laughs> to prevent the infamous belt fat pinching <laughs> phenomena. One day I went to a meeting where there was about 15 other people and forgot I hadn't buckled back up. Also, oh. any advice on belt alternatives? Not old or fat enough for suspenders yet. Oh my god. That's man, I so, okay, so I can relate to this very well. I hadn't gotten to the office yet, <laughs> but there are certainly times where I uh like I'm on my drive in and I'm feeling the pinch, so I'll just unbuckle in the car. Oh yeah. I have straight up gotten up like in the elevator, being in the elevator and realized it and pushed the button to go i got to the top closed the thing again and went back down to five just to go all the way back up so i had time to buckle that's awesome that is a rick story if there ever was one i had a uh now that i have an office i feel very Mm -hmm. free in there and uh sometimes they let rip and it never (laughs) fails that as soon as i do i haven't seen a soul all day and as soon as i do um pamela anderson walks in <laughs> like yeah like, what seriously. the hell where'd you come from but yeah it, it happens often uh i think it's like karma for doing that um yeah yeah so. all right we got one more here from michael he says hey guys i recently moved from chicago to the west coast and when trying to make some crock pot italian beefs i smell like beef <laughs> i didn't realize that there was no grocery stores that sold <laughs> chicago style jardinier what? Yes, what? there are. You need a better grocery store. I'm obviously aware Italian beefs are specific to Chicago, but I was surprised the grocery stores out here didn't even... Oh, I'm sorry. He moved to the West Coast. I can read, honestly. Uh, but I was surprised the grocery stores out here don't even carry one brand of Jardinier. I know you both have lived in Chicago most of your life, but whether it be on a long family road trip or some other occasion, have you come across anything you were surprised to not find outside the Chicago area? Wow, that's Ooh. that's a good question. Yeah. I mean, aside from like Chicago specifically branded things, right? I can't think of, but the Jardinier one is good. That is good because I just it... assumed that was pretty readily available. Yeah, 
I don't know. Like, it makes sense because it'd be under, like, your your ethnic aisle or whatever <laughs> where, you know, it's like, okay, here's, here's like, your Mexican food, your Indian food. Here's your jardinera for people from Chicago. Right. Yeah. It just makes well, sense. Well, you know what's similar, though? Remember when uh, Joe Madden had his hoagie mm-hmm. and it's got the cherry pepper relish? I couldn't yep. find that anywhere. I even went to, like, an Italian deli. And he's like, oh, you got to Joe Madden's like, I can't find it either. I order a case of it and I have it sent to me and I just have it. Um, so I, I did end up finding it. It's some obscure Italian deli. Somebody had it. That's Cento, C-E-N-T-O huh. brand, cherry pepper relish. But yeah, I guess there's just stuff that's regional. And I guess Jardinera is a regional Chicago thing. Very odd. Who knew? That's exciting. Uh, mm-hmm. That sucks, though. I mean, Jardinera is, if you're into it. Essential. And you're used to it, not having yes. that is a is a tough blow. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, my my family's gotten into big time having the Jardinera on pizza. It's good as of late. That is really good. It's so good, man. I gotta do when that you want soon. just that little extra kick yep. more than like pepperoni or something like that. Like that's that's living. Yep. All right. Well, that's all I got. I smell a <laughs> Jerk. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> Uh, follow us on all of our social medias at I'm Fat Pod, especially TikTok. We I, I feel like in our um, do we need to put like hashtag TikTok in oh, our profile? Heads up, huh. uh, Wednesday, no, yes. Thursday is St. Okay. Patrick's Day. Yes, we'll be doing an Irish snacks taste test on our TikTok page. So make sure yes. you're following us TikTok dot com. No, just <laughs> at I'm Fat Pod on TikTok. We literally don't even know. www.http <laughs> colon slash slash. Yeah. <laughs> so, Just, I'm Fatbot yeah. on TikTok. Follow I'm Fatbot on TikTok. We should put a uh, hashtag like TikTok in our profile. Can't hurt. Because, I mean, hey, it's also a quick way for other people. That, never mind. And if All it's right. us, we're not lying. No, <laughs> we are not. Also, I will not be trying on bikinis. Damn it. You're well, welcome. We'll get you there someday. Yeah. Uh, email us. I'm fat pod at gmail.com. The fat phone 708-858-3314. The fact that I remember that is kind of a miracle with nice the work. week off. Good job. Patreon T public. If there's not a sale right now, there will be in like six hours. So make sure to check back. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. That yep. helps out. Yes, it does. Subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe on the podcasting. We got a new review recently, Ooh, nice. which was awesome. And it, I would have read the username, but it was like one. It was like a thing and then like 18 numbers. Uh, and I'm, so I'm it's just not, definitely not a bot. Yeah, definitely not a bot. <laughs> so we appreciate the not bot for uh, giving us a review very much. Uh, thank them for that. And rate, review the podcast, all that jazz. And check out our sponsors, Charlie the Bacon Guy, Mazda of Orland Park. I love fries and Fredo's Culinary Kitchen. So for Jay, I'm Rick, and this is the I'm Fat Podcast. All right, I think we got a lot accomplished here today.